and SSOT separation coming up in just under two minutes. Just to finish with the subject of uh, reignition, because it is so important to uh, Soyuz, and especially this mission. Frigate, we mentioned, to reignites four times tonight to inject the six satellites, and you started to say she'll have a fifth and final reburn, and this is to deorbit the stage, right? Correct, Josh. Uh, this fifth and final burn will be performed about half an hour after SSOT, after SSOT separation for deorbitation. Okay, we are back now in visibility, so we're going to have soon the uh, confirmation, confirmation of, of Fregat burn. fourth burn completion and ASAP S separation. But uh, as, as I said, and the goal is to avoid uh, the goal of this deorbitation is to avoid leaving debris in orbit for this mission. The best solution uh, was for this specific mission to send Fregat onto a re-entry trajectory in order that it burns when going through the dense layers of the Earth uh, atmosphere. De la séparation du -tail ASAP. Okay, we'll, we got the confirmation that's of that. Uh, the confirmation. This is a Saskatoon, which is, uh, I guess, re relaying the information yeah. on the, uh, the final uh, tracking station in uh, north of Canada. So, only so the SSOT separation now. We're waiting uh, in less than half a minute. We should get the uh, good news, uh, tense moments right now, as we saw in the uh, earlier part of the broadcast with the first passengers as we await satellite separation. Lots of emotion. The people responsible for Soyuz and for SSOT are technical people, engineers like Jerome, but they're humans after all, so there's a lot of emotion involved, which is like mm -hmm. why we like to mention the human side. We're waiting for... So you could see on the... 3D picture, the separation of the central part of the ASAPS, uh, which uh, freed uh, SSOT in order to enable its separation a little bit later. Uh, a lot of tension probably in Chile. Uh, it's the first satellite for Chile, so I can imagine that after such a long wait, they are really excited at the idea to have their own satellite in orbit, and it's uh, probably a great emotion in this country. The satellite which will... Uh bring a lot of new images to the uh, Chilean defense people. And, uh, and we hope, of course, that it's uh, only the beginning of a long cooperation and uh, space development uh, in Chile. As uh, Minister Allende said, um, it's the uh, big first of uh, possibly many more ambitious projects yeah. to come. You mentioned that. Uh, Minister in Aleman. Aleman, yes. In, uh, in uh, the future between uh, the Russians and the Europeans and uh, the Chileans. You can oh. see them, they are really, <laughs> really yeah. tense Eyes because, of course, the separation probably has already occurred, but we are waiting from, uh, for the confirmation by uh, the ground tracking station. They are analyzing the data probably right now. And uh, we hope that everybody will be relieved in a few Et seconds. All is normal on board, says the DDO, as we wait for our final confirmation, the final good news. On the uh, looking down into Jupiter Mission Control, Joel Barr, who's the uh, director of the CSG, calls Jupiter Mission Control the brain of the launch operations. Well, we hear okay. the applause and we see the animation. So I'm assuming. I hope not prematurely. That we've had uh, successful separation of SSOT. Yeah. By the way, uh, I can say a few words about this uh, separation subsystem. Confirmation of the separation of microsatellite SSOT. Okay. Oh, there Confirmation is, is now announced by the DDO officially. <laughs> the images were a bit uh, ahead of the. So from the intense concentration of just a few minutes ago when everybody was waiting, the mood, as you see, has changed. Yeah. Handshakes and hugs and congratulations yeah. all around, smiles. I can imagine they have waited f so long for this even to happen that they can imagine they are really relieved and hopefully uh, uh, SSOT will have a long life. SSOT beginning life, the first uh, early orbit uh, phases. In one hour deployment sequence and sun acquisition mode initialization. We're going to go to uh, replay again, plus 115 minutes first visibility from Karuna station in northern Europe, and from three days to uh, eight days orbit correction maneuvers, and she should be ready for service. Here's a replay, and we'll be back with the speeches right afterward.
So we've had our last bit of good news. That makes 1,781 missions.